Salutations, and welcome to Kirby Plays Games. This is Seven Days to Die, and in this video, I am going to show you how to make a cement mixer. The very first thing to confirm is that you have the skills or knowledge required to craft a cement mixer in the game. One way to gain this is by finding a schematic for a cement mixer. These can be tricky to find though, and so it is more likely that you will need to spend a few skill points to unlock the ability to craft a cement mixer. This is accomplished by purchasing the second tier of Advanced Engineering Tinkerer, but to purchase this you will need to have invested in Intellect Level 4, Thick Headed so be sure to keep this in mind. It is also worth noting that Tinkerer also unlocks workbench crafting, which is important because the cement mixer may only be crafted at a workbench. So make sure you have a workbench ready to use for this project. If you are wondering how to craft a workbench, then consider checking out my guide for workbench crafting after this video. Once you have the ability to craft a cement mixer unlocked, you will need the required materials. For the cement mixer, you will need 25 forged iron, 4 springs, 1 engine, and 10 mechanical parts. Forged iron is most easily obtained by smelting iron at a forge, but it can also be found in loot or purchased from the trader. As for the other components, all of these can be found by wrenching cars. Additionally, every component listed can be found in loot and seems to have a higher drop rate in working stiff or pass and gas crates, which can be found in gas stations, mechanic shops, and garages. Once you have unlocked the recipe and have all of the required materials, go to your workbench and you should be able to find the cement mixer in the building list on the left side of the workbench screen. Select it and click craft to begin constructing your cement mixer in the workbench. This will take 3 minutes and 40 seconds to complete, but you do not have to stay in the screen and are free to leave and do other things while your cement mixer is crafting at the workbench. Once it is done crafting, it will appear in the output on the right side of the workbench screen. From here, you can drag it to your inventory or toolbar. To place the cement mixer, select it from your toolbar, hover it onto the desired location, and place by right-clicking. You can also rotate it by left-clicking if you want it to face a different direction. You can now open the cement mixer screen by hovering over it and pressing E, and from here you can start mixing concrete using crushed sand, small stones, and cement. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if it was helpful, please do consider giving it a like. Enjoy your cement mixing in 7 Days to Die, and as always, I hope you have an excellent day.